Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. How are we all? I hope we're all doing really, really well. Today I have a Zara order for you. I know it hasn't been a really long time since my last Zara haul that I did. I showed a few bits that I picked up in a vlog. Some of them got sent back, some of them I will be keeping, but they just dropped a lot of stuff on their new in section and it is so good. So I added a lot of stuff to my basket. This wasn't just, oh, I'm gonna pick a few things up and try these. This is like the whole, you know, when you order some stuff and you just know, you know, well, I say that, I hope I know. But anyway, I picked up a few new bits and they actually arrived within a couple of days, which is outstanding for any delivery ever at the moment. So mega, mega impressed with that. It's meant to come on Friday. It is Wednesday today. This arrived yesterday. I am a very happy girl right now. So. Without further ado, let's get into this. I'm excited. There are a lot of neutrals in here. Does anyone else love the fact that you can now get into a Zara box without having to use scissors? Because I really love that. I actually forgot there is not just neutrals in here. I know, I know. We have trousers, people. I am so excited to try these on. These are like wide leg pleated cream trousers i'm pretty sure i picked these up in black as well i got these in a size small and i think i got the black ones in a small as well zara is a little bit hit and miss at the moment when you are on their website you can put something in your basket and it's in stock and then you get to the checkout and it's like gone so some things i do have in like random sizes but only if i think i can make it work if that makes sense i think these would look gorgeous with like a white crop top a bikini top even a white kind of linen-y shirt that kind of thing i think i basically just listed everything that you could wear trousers with but what i'm trying to say is that they're a very very versatile piece and i'm really excited to try them on i just hope that they're not too long on me i think i'm looking at myself in the mirror and holding these up to myself i think they might be a little bit long but we'll see so like i said i also picked them up in black i think what i might try doing i don't know if this will work but you never know it could work i've seen some people with wide leg trousers knot them at the bottom because they are obviously like there's so much material you could tie them in a knot and it kind of like brings them up a little bit so i am going to give that a go i got the black pair in a small as well as i thought so yeah i'm going to give that a go with these and see if that helps in terms of the height if they are a little bit long even if they're not a little bit long i think that could be a really cool way to wear them because it kind of makes them a bit more of a almost like a jogger style if that makes sense and could help to casual them down a little bit or even if you're just not a fan of flares it could be an alternative way to wear them so i will give that a try so these are the trousers they are definitely a little bit long on me but i'm going to show you a way to bring them up a little bit. If you are just a little bit too short for them, what you can do is just roll this over once. And I think that works really well at bringing it up. I would have to do it about three times and then the crutch, which is like about there, would then start kind of digging in some places that you don't want it to dig, if you know what I'm saying. So yeah, that is not an option for me, but I think for everyone else, it could definitely be an option. But you could definitely bring these up and have them in more of a jogger style, which I will show you. Or you could have them taken up. You could wear them with heels. I'm just very 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 short and these will just even if i am in heels they will be too long which is kind of sad but i can still make the most of them and i'm going to style them on the way that i saw on the website so this is how you could kind of bring them up and make them more of a jogger style trouser the way i saw them on the website was actually with the knot out so it kind of sat like that this is cute and i quite like it but i understand it's not necessarily something that everyone is going to go for but i think it's kind of cute so yeah you can just kind of tuck it have it like that which i think is actually a little bit more clean and i feel like most people would prefer but if you do ever end up with maybe you're gifted a pair of trousers that are too long for you or you just can't get to the tailor in lockdown then this is definitely an option if you end up with a pair of trousers that are too long for you just as a way of kind of making them do for now so that is the cream pair of trousers kind of tucked under let me know what you think i know this will definitely not be for everyone but like i said it's just a way of making them do for the time being or if you're just a shorty like me but you kind of like the look this is how you can do it. I love the black trousers. These are so cute. I think I'm definitely going to see if I can invest in having them taken up because they are just the perfect fit and they skim my hips so, so nicely. I really, really like them. So once lockdown is over, if I can find someone to tailor these, I 100% will. They're just kind of like a little bit odd on the hem. They're not a raw hem, but they're just not very thick, if you know what I mean. So I don't know how easy they'll be to take up, but I'm definitely going to look into that because I really love these. These ones I would say are actually a tiny bit shorter. I don't know if it's because black dye tends to shrink things a little bit. So it could be because of that. And I probably could get away with rolling these up once and wearing them with a pair of heels. But I think just 
for everyday wear, I will definitely look into having these taken up. And this is them rolled up and tucked. I think when I look at the black pair, I definitely prefer them tucked. It just looks a lot cleaner. And I think this also makes them great for lounging around the house without too much material getting in the way as well. So if you do find, I have a few pairs of like linen trousers, which I do just sometimes feel are a bit too much. They're still great for posturing around the house, but sometimes there's just like a lot of material going on around your feet because they are just very like large and flowy. So I think sometimes if wide leg trousers annoy you, this is definitely a little technique to try. Yeah, they're very cute. I love the black pair. I love it then so we have much. This pair of trousers. I'm so excited about these. I think these are a little bit shorter. They're almost like a, what do you call it? Like a hessian bag style material, but not because hessian bags feel disgusting and I have a real, real passionate hate for them. They just, you know, when you touch something, like, you know, some people don't like touching cotton wool. I don't particularly love touching rough things. Those bags also kind of smell a little weird and I don't know if that's why as well? I don't know. Anyway, this is a really irrelevant conversation. But these trousers are kind of that type of colour and they also have like a texture to them, but they're not too rough. They're actually, I think they'll be lovely to wear, but they're basically like a cream colour. But when you look at the detail up close, the thread is like woven and there's like darker threads running through it. So they just make this really lovely, like natural, neutral colour. I thought these could be perfect in my wardrobe. I think this would look lovely just paired with a simple black body or a black crop top. Oh yeah, there's a crop top, I think, in this haul, which would look really, really great with these. So yeah, a really lovely pair for summer um, or just lounging around the house in general. All of these trousers are just so great for lounging. So yeah, you know, that's one of my favorite pastimes. I just think they're the most lovely color and texture. It's just so beautiful. And again, if you're in and out of the garden on a hot day, they work really nicely with like a black bikini top as well. Just something nice to like throw on on your bottom half if you kind of want to be a bit more covered. These are the more kind of natural colored trousers. I really like them. I think these might actually be my favorite pair of the bunch. I think I got these in a medium, so they are a little bit loose. Annoyingly, I bought the small but then I had to cancel my order. And then when I went back, I just had to get a medium because the website had like registered that I'd bought the small, but I hadn't bought the small. And I was too impatient to wait in case the rest of my order went out of stock. But I think I might pick these up in a small just because they are like a little bit roomy. And I find that they just sit a bit lower. I would love for them to sit here. I think that would be perfect. And I think they've got enough material on the hips and the leg length to kind of still fall really nicely over my hips. And I just think this would be a really nice point for them to sit at. So they kind of naturally sit around here, which I just like having my belly button covered. I don't have a weird thing about belly buttons, but I like for mine to be covered. But because of that, I do think the length is a little bit, I don't know, I feel like they should be a bit more like here. But because they do sit so low, they kind of hit exactly like a normal pair of trousers, which is also kind of cool because they're not obviously meant to do that if you're average height or above. So yeah, it kind of works out well in that way. But if you did want to bring it up, if you're a little bit shorter or you just prefer a crop length, I'm going to show you how I would. So <laughs> I'm going to use a scrunchie for this, which is not ideal, but it's what I have to hand. This is so weird. But basically the leg length of this means that you can't really tie it in the way that you could with the other trousers. So what I would do is get my scrunchie, pull the material sorry my feet are on show my feet are so grim without regular pedicures yeah i would just pull it up like that and again they sit in a similar way to the other wide leg trousers i showed you could probably try and use this technique on the wide leg trousers as well but you would get because there's more material you would get a lot more bunching here and i kind of don't think that would look as cute i think the tie technique works better with the wider leg trousers but the hairband technique works really really well on these and i think it just gives you a little bit more ankle which is sometimes quite nice with a more baggy trouser but each to their own this is definitely more of a personal preference thing and i would probably gravitate between the two depending on the look i think if you're wearing kind of less on top you can get away with just like the more flowy trouser side of things but if i was wearing like a t-shirt or something or a body i might go for the hairband on the leg and depending on what hairband you use it will work quite well at like really keeping this in place it's quite a secure method whereas the knot technique can kind of fall a bit looser and the item that i was hoping to style a lot of these trousers with is this knitted bralette i just think this is so cute it's got a really lovely knitted tie back i just think the tie back is so 
gorgeous like i really like an open back on things as you guys will know i just like having like shoulders and back is i think my favorite part of myself to have on show i just i love it and because this ties at the back i just think it makes it more of a feature and i really really love that so i think this will be gorgeous with all of the trousers to be honest like i don't think there is a pair of trousers that i'd be like oh that doesn't really work so yeah very very excited to style that so up. this is the knitted bralette i love the back the one thing i would say it just made me die it came with like hanger straps that were just like where do you tuck those like where would you tuck them i'd literally have to wind them around my boobs and then it had a label here a label at the back and then a tag and i was just like there's just a lot going on with this top so i had to kind of take the risk and just cut it all off because i couldn't even tell if i liked the bralette without all of the like bits dangling underneath my arms it was just so weird but i really really like it i love the knitted effect i don't know if you can really see it very well there you go <laughs> yeah anyway angles you didn't need to see me from but i love the back i haven't done it up in a bow i've just kind of left it tied and hanging i kind of prefer it like that the bow just felt like a bit too much and it's quite a bulky knit really for a top that's so small so it just felt a bit too much tying that in a bow i also like the fact that it has adjustable straps that definitely made this a winner really i don't think the fit would be anywhere near as nice if i hadn't been able to adjust this this just would have been a lot saggier yeah let's roll with that word yeah actually slouchy let's roll with slouchy slouchy is a better word and then i have another crop top which is more one that i think actually i think this could go with quite a few of the bits it's this lovely white ribbed crop top i don't know if you'll be able to see on camera but there's like a rib texture to it and then it's got the frill along the top bottom and shoulders as well i just i love white i really love white in the summer you guys know i, I just i feel like i am a broken record but white in the summer is my favorite thing and this is just a really lovely crop top that is i know crop tops are a little bit like i feel like they have a certain vibe that comes with them like a bit of a kardashians vibe which i love but i know it's not for everyone but this is like one of those crop tops where it's a little bit more feminine but without being too ruffly it's just very very simple very versatile and very wearable and i really liked that about it i think it would go really nicely with the cream colored trousers it could even go with the more neutral colored ones as well but i just thought this was a great basic to having my summer wardrobe to wear with my mass collection of trousers so this is what the white top looks like on i think this is so cute i tried it on with the cream trousers and it looked okay but again the cream trousers were that kind of like obviously creamy kind of like off whitey color and i always just i think i've said this time and time again in my zara hauls because it's a recurring kind of cream tone that crops up with zara stuff but pairing white with it just doesn't work i personally don't think it works but actually having this white with shockingly a black pair of trousers works really really nicely and i've thrown my chloe sandals on just to add a more natural tone into the monochrome mix that's one of my favorite things to do at the moment rather than just have like black white and then a black pair of shoes i think having like a natural tone on the bottom just really helps to kind of elevate it a little bit it just makes the whole look a little bit softer and ties in really nicely with the frills on the crop top and the pleats on the trousers it's a very like soft monochrome ish monochrome ish kind of look i think this is going to be a really nice little staple in my wardrobe for summer i also wanted something to go with all of the kind of trousers and crop combinations that i've been seeing and liking and obviously ordering and one thing i did see on zara was like a shorter not a cropped cardigan but definitely a shorter cardigan in its length that was quite fitted i guess and i picked this cardigan up in a small one thing i find in the summer is i love wearing my trousers and my crop tops but then i go to leave the house and a denim jacket just feels a bit too like oversized and just a bit too like i don't know it just feels a bit wrong and then a leather jacket sometimes feels a bit too dressy or a bit too warm and i really struggle with the what to throw on over the top you could go with a blazer but for me though it's just a bit too smart for the vibe that i have really been enjoying so i thought i'd pick this cardigan up and i've not had a black button-up cardigan in my wardrobe since maybe i was at school it's been that long but this one is such a soft ribbed knit it's so gorgeous i am really really happy with this actually it was a whole 19 pounds which is an absolute steal and i think it will work perfectly with the knitted crop and then the black trousers especially if i do the tie thing at the bottom i really hope that works out you'll know better than me because you will have seen it already but yeah i think that would look really really cool with like a pair of like dark shades and my hair kind of pulled back maybe into like a looser bun just for a real like effortless vibe i think that could be really this cool this is the black cardigan i've rolled the sleeves up i do think that in hindsight obviously when i'm planning outfits and i'm looking at the zara website i'm normally looking at models that don't 
don't have boobs and I kind of forget I have them so with that in mind this outfit I would probably wear one of my crop tops that just goes straight across just because I think the mix of a cardigan and then this much boob around is just a weird mix so I'd probably go for my crop top that just goes straight across so it'd be a lot cleaner but I really like this vibe of like the cardigan with the black trousers I just think it looks really cute and with a pair of like Chloe sandals it would look really nice as well I also like wearing it I think you will have seen me do this literally like a few minutes ago but I quite like having it buttoned up but then off shoulder I think that looks really really cute and works really nicely with the trousers as well I also picked up a bikini I don't often pick bikinis up off of Zara I think there was one that I got a couple of years back and it had a flamingo on it and it was like one shoulder and it was very cute. But I loved the cut of this bikini. I think I said in my last vlog, which I was filming yesterday, I was talking about swimwear and I showed a bikini that had like thicker straps and I was talking about how I really liked that and as you can see that theme is definitely following me. I really like how low cut this one is but the straps are so thick that you feel like you're still quite covered. I really like that and the back is the exact same so there's a bit more back on show which I think is really really lovely. This one would pair really nicely with all of the trousers as well so the bottoms are like this but they have um like a, almost like a gap but they're high-waisted and i just think that if i've got the right sizing and you know they're cut right i think it would be the loveliest fit and i just really love a high-waisted bikini and that one was just a little bit different to everything else that i've seen at the moment and uh as you guys will know i just love swimwear so that was that was how that happened. i'm gonna put it out there just on what i'm seeing in the mirror i obviously need to see this on my computer screen to kind of make a full decision that's what i do a lot of the time i don't know if that's weird but this has to be one of the most flattering bikinis i have ever owned i am obsessed with this cut this is gorgeous i really like the big straps on it i just i love it I actually love it and I think this would work really nicely as being a top as well. If you're away or you're just, you're just in the garden and you're kind of like chilling and then you want to throw like a pair of trousers on, the black pleated trousers would look amazing with this and this kind of passes as like an actual top. I really love it. I wasn't sure what to expect because Zara aren't exactly known for their swimwear but I do really like it and I like the bottoms as well. I pulled them up just to sit above where I start to curve outwards just to kind of make the most of that shape and make sure we didn't get any kind of like bulge because I feel like there, that would that would not work. So yeah, I just pulled them up a little bit. I actually really like the cut across the leg and bum. And I think just having that tiny little peep of skin is really cute. And like I said, I really like this kind of V cut. I think it's so, so flattering around your waist. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with this. It might be one of my favourite bikinis I've ever owned. Next up, we have two jumpsuits or play suits um, because they're not long. These are gorgeous. So we have a V neck on the top jumpsuit. It goes into a wider short and then it's also got a tie waist as well. These are so hard to hold up but I'm really excited to try these on. I hope they fit well because I had to get a medium and hopefully that'll be all right because I can use the tie waist to like cinch it in around the waist and sometimes I think having a size up actually looks lovely if you've got a tie waist because it just looks a little bit more like slouchy. Guys, I absolutely love this i think we might actually be looking at a zara haul where i keep the majority of things and that is very rare now i don't need to sing zara's praises unnecessarily they don't need my business they don't need your business but if i see things that i like they're staying so this is staying i love this play suit it's so so simple it's definitely not groundbreaking but the cut of this is lovely i'm really glad that i got it in a medium actually i really like having just that little bit of extra material kind of especially around my bottom half i think it works really really nicely ignore the tag in the back but the back is cute we need to cut out those hanger little strap things because they are just the bane of my life but this is cute and i'm very excited to try the green one on so i got that in the nude and then i also picked it up in this color which if you are a regular watcher of the vlogs you know i'm a big fan of this color i have a skim set in this color as well i really really love it it's beautiful so it's the exact same style but just in this kind of muted what would you call this it's not quite an olive it's almost like a muted tealy color i just think it's really really beautiful and i think it's a color that looks lovely on a range of skin tones as well and if you're someone that mainly wears neutrals but you want to kind of dip your toe into color i think this is a lovely place to start so this is a small the nude version of this that you saw before was a medium and i'm actually surprised at how much i still like this in a small i was kind of thinking i really like the other one maybe only because i've got it in a medium and i really like the way that it hanged 
from my body but actually the small is just as good as well i would love to know your thoughts too but i actually don't think they're too different so if you were wondering what size to go for then hopefully this is helpful in some way you can definitely get your regular size i would kind of say that a small is my regular size in zara now so even though i have a medium in the nude one i wouldn't say you need to size up and if you are struggling with the availability of sizing a little bit hopefully this will kind of help you make a judgment call but yeah i love the color so cute fit is so nice and the length i think is perfect and will work well on a variety of heights as well it is quite long on my leg compared to a lot of like other play suits that i would wear and if you're smaller you can kind of ruch this up a little bit and kind of make it a little bit shorter for your height if you wanted to and i also picked up this jacket i almost forgot about this when i was talking about jackets this is like a almost like a shirt blazer it looks like a blazer but it's very very lightweight and i just think this is gorgeous and i really liked how it was styled on the website i think it would be really nice to throw in over the crop top and the black trousers and i would also throw this over like little white dresses and stuff as well and i just think it's really cool i think it's down to the shorter sleeves it just makes it look a little bit more like really effortless and i wouldn't wear it with the buttons done up although you could wear it with the buttons done up and wear it as a dress because it is well i could because it's quite long but i generally wear it quite open and almost like an over shirt and i think it would look so cool so very very excited to style that up i got this in a size extra small to small and it is quite oversized so you could size up if you wanted it a bit longer as well so this is the shirt jacket i just think it's so cool i paired it with the crop top and trousers whilst they're rolled up just to kind of give you an idea of how you could style it i'd maybe go for a slightly less booby crop top with this but i still kind of think it works because the shirt is kind of a little bit more smart i mean let's face it it's not the sexiest item in the world that we've ever seen so the crop top does kind of help to just give it a bit more like something and i think it works really nicely for the summer as well this with my chloe sandals on my feet i might actually grab them and show you hold so these sandals or my chanel sliders as well which are black would both work really really well with this outfit i really like it i love this shirt i think it's going to be a really great staple in my wardrobe over the summer. I'm excited to get the steamer out on it, look at that. But I think it looks so, so nice with a white dress underneath as well, maybe like a white lace dress, just to kind of add a little bit of an edge to it. I think that would work really, really nicely. And then finally, I picked up these three pieces which make a full outfit and I just really wanted to give it a go because I love this colour at the moment. I always sit away from lilacs because, mostly because it's my nan's favourite colour and it always just felt a bit like it's my nan's favourite colour, you know? But I do love this tone of lilac. I think it's so beautiful and I saw these shorts and I loved them. And I was thinking about what I could pair them with and you could do these with like a nude body and just go very, very simple or a black crop top. But for me, I just wanted something that was a little bit more pulled together and like a full outfit, you know? So I picked up this shirt this was pretty low in stock if i'm honest so i don't know what the state of this stock will be like when this video goes live i picked this up in an extra large it's not that large at all so i am actually quite glad i didn't go for my like regular size because i think this would have been quite small and i didn't mind going for something that potentially had an oversized fit on me because i planned on tucking it into the shorts anyway so it would just be like very very oversized on top and that's actually kind of cute so i picked this up it has really cute pleats on the back i don't know if you'll be able to see and it is a little bit see-through which i really liked as well because the shorts aren't as see-through they're also slightly varying shades of lilac which i kind of liked i just thought that that made them not look like a play suit if that makes sense but it ties them together really really nicely and the shorts are lovely as well because they're a slightly different material too so it just kind of breaks it up but ties it together all at the same time i'm hoping it'll look good we'll see and then i also picked up some shoes to go with it because i just think it's a pretty difficult color to kind of pick a shoe to go with i would probably if i didn't go for these would probably go for my chanel sliders they're almost like a jelly material and i think that goes quite well with this because it's kind of a fun outfit and i think those sliders as much as they're like very plain and simple are like a bit more fun i think i associate that texture of them with like jelly sandals from when you're a kid so the whole outfit would just be a little bit more fun but i also picked up these they actually do these in a few colors and i would say they're quite a good high street jeep for the ysl sandals that i have that are kind of woven on the top but just obviously a slightly different shape but if you wanted the same effect i'm pretty sure they do these in a tan and a black i think if my memory is right but they're a very good jeep anyway and i thought these would go perfectly and complete the look i did get these in a size six a uk size six just because they didn't actually have a five but with sliders i can get away with sizing up anyway because they do tend to rub a little bit so yeah that is enough waffle about the shoes we shall see what they look like on. i know some people are gonna hate but i think this is cute the shoes are so cute oh my god i just <laughs> i love it and you know i love a color when i have a matching bra so you guys did not have to see my nipples today not once 
I don't think. So this is probably the first video in a while where I've actually worn a bra, but let's ignore that. Even though I highlighted it, I love this. I think it's so cute. I know that it's not for everybody. Not everyone loves a one tone look, but I think this is I just really love it. I love this color. It is just the sweetest color ever. I actually really like the fit of the shirt with it being a bit oversized. I think if you wanted to go one or the other, like I said, you could pair these shorts with like a black crop top or even a white shirt. You could pair this shirt with white shorts, with black shorts, or just like a cute pair of linen trousers if you wanted. But I think with a pastel color like this, I really love just making it all one look. I think it looks so cute. It's such a statement. It's also so summery and just, it's just a really sweet look. I really love this outfit. It's so cute. And you could pair it with a pair of nude heels as well if you wanted to wear this kind of out, out in the future once we're released. I think this would be like a really cool night out outfit if you wanted to wear a bit more color. Do I have a bag that goes with this? I'm actually like contemplating like, can I wear this on a night out? in the future. I think it'd be cute to have a matching bag to this, but if not, you could go for something neutral. I think a nude bag would work perfectly as well. It is just so cute. I really like it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to send anything from this haul back. This has probably been the first Zara haul in a long time where I just don't think I'm sending anything back. So that is it for today's Zara haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think I should keep and return in the comments below. I hope you're all having a lovely day and taking care of yourselves and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.